Hello, this is Paramjit Singh. Uh, thank you very much once again for stopping by. Today we are going to talk about women in our lives, especially women who are over the age of 40. And what the reason behind this is that over the age of 40, women tends to experience a decline of certain hormones, which are namely estrogen and progesterone. And then it is related to what we call menopause at later stages. Now menopause is a not a health condition, it's a normal physiological, biological process which every woman experiences over the period of time. But it is often attended by a summary of very uncomfortable uh, symptoms. And those symptoms range from hot flashes to night sweats to sexual dysfunction, vaginal dryness, depression, anxiety, other psychological issues, uh, change in blood pressure, change in other bodily functions. And all these things happen because of the changing hormonal uh, structure as we pile on years. Now there's a various way to work through this. I mean science has a hormonal replacement therapy, antidepressants to deal with. But there's one thing I want to bring uh, your attention to if you may have considered it before, you may even have practiced it before. But if you have not done so far, let me invite you to consider this, a kind of a safe, uh, no cost intervention to work and manage your symptoms. And that's a meditation. Now meditation, regardless of whichever way, is, is known to have mostly positive psychological, biological, as well as mental uh, benefits. But particularly one I'm going to talk about is called the mindful meditation. So recently a study was published in a journal of psychosomatic research, a meta-analytic study, which means it's a combination of various studies, which also means it is a better indicator of evidence than a single study, which suggested that women who went through the mindfulness-based interventions tends to have an improved quality of life over the women who did not uh, go through the mindfulness-based interventions. So what it means that uh, women who actually did the mindfulness meditation or engaged in the mindful meditation, they did get some benefit in the terms of improved quality of life. Now, the study had fewer issues, which means that it was not able to reach any clear-cut indications and what sort of uh, issues were resolved, but it was pretty clear on, on quality of life, that it certainly, according to the study and all the study that was used in that meta-analytic meta study, it improved the quality of the life for women. So, what I invite you to do is that if you have not considered meditation as one of the ways to manage your, your hot flashes, night sweats, or other uh, issues or challenges you may be facing, uh, try to do it. Uh, learn from someone, learn it well, do it systematically, add this into the toolkit of all other things you're doing, follow your physician's advice, bring your physician into the space because most of the physicians these days are aware of the mind-body interventions and how they are helpful in the normal medical interventions. And see how it takes you, means you can be curious about it. One of the best way, as I always say, to see the value of any intervention is to test drive and see how it impacts your body. So I just wanted to share with you this very simple thing that if you have never considered uh, meditation as one of the ways to manage your uh, menopausal symptoms, see if you want to actually uh, work it through your toolkit and see where it takes you. Anyhow, if you decide to bring this into your toolkit and you have experiences and you would like to share with other peers and folks, please do write, uh, write leave a comment here and I think other people will appreciate your experience. And for now, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. Stay well and stay safe. And I will see you once again next week. Bye bye. Please subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you. <laughs>